Now, to give you an idea of why it offset the organs, by doing certain things in a strong way, you offset it. For instance, the Chinese always believe bitter herbs goes to the heart as a tonic. It will clear the liver heat. So it does two things when it is bitter. Then you have sweet. Sweet will tonify the spleen and stomach. Then you have salty. Salty ones tonifies the kidneys. Then you have acrid. Acrid will tonify the lungs. And also, acrid will also contract the muscles. If a person is shitting 10 times a day, you know, you give him a, a herbal combination that is accurate, it will stop him from shitting straight away. So that is very important to know the taste. And if you know the taste, you know the work of the herbs. Now, the five flavors are very important. Sweet, sour, and all those. Now, the liver likes sour, so sour goes to the liver. Now it is easily proven. Now when a woman is pregnant in the first stage, she likes everything sour. Sour oranges, sour, sour juice, sour everything, sour apple juice. Now sour actually tonifies the liver. Now the reason why the woman needs sour is because when a woman is pregnant, the liver actually is affected in the strongest way. So the liver becomes hyperactive. When the liver is hyperactive, the lady has the urge to take sour. Now some people have the tendency to have, like salty things. Everything they put salt. You know, you put more salt in the salad, more salt in that, more salt. Salt is good because it strengthens the bones, it strengthens your teeth. And salt is the one that goes to the kidneys. So salty ones tonifies the kidneys. Now, of course the pungent, pungent we, pungent or we call uh, spicy. Now pungent one opens the lungs energy and it actually tonifies the lungs, the pungent. Now we can also prove that very easily. If you look at peppermint, peppermint is slightly pungent. So if a person has a cold, the lungs are really congested. So what you are drinking, uh, like if you cough a lot, you are drinking some uh, of the cough syrup that is a little bit pungent. Or you can go to get some candies that is uh, really pungent because that opens the lung energy because pungent tonifies the lungs. So by the taste of the herbs we actually know what work the herbs are doing. To know that is not enough yet. We have to know exactly what is the season to pick the herbs even. For instance in the springtime when you are picking the herbs, you normally pick the flowers and the shoots. And in the summertime, you can pick the leaves because the leaves are in full bloom. Then in the autumn, mostly the twigs. So a lot of the, the herbal with twigs are picked in the autumn. Of course, the best time to pick the roots is in the winter because in the winter, the leaves of the trees are all gone and all the energy goes into the roots. So it is the best time to dig the roots. So by picking the herbs in the right season, in the right timing, it actually has higher potentials of healing. I give you a very simple example. Like we see dandelion all over the place. Now, dandelion is a good herb. It's a good herb to tonify the liver and also to clear the liver heat. Now, if you are picking the dandelion, you don't pick it just before twilight. 
because all the energy is gone. Now, to pick the dandelion, you can look at that dandelion in the morning. When the sun starts coming up, the dandelion starts to open, the flowers start to open. And when the flower is fully open, the energy starts to disperse. So, it is just right when you pick it just before the flower or the, the, the buds uh, start to bloom. That is the best time to pick it. 